27,000 trees are chopped down daily just to produce toilet paper. An average of 63% of these trees are coming from virgin forests. And some of those virgin forests are home to trees that are roughly 200 years old. Toilet paper, thick or thin? <laughs> Wrong question. You should be asking, how do I wipe my body in a more sustainable way? cost environmental benefit and here I am delivering some information about toilet paper. In order for you to wipe your butt in a more sustainable way, there's many options, okay? So I'm going to break down in two options for you. First of all, to start here, first option is using toilet paper that you are aware that's coming from recycling materials or sustainable forestry and the second option is not using toilet paper at all. You girls, no, 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 okay? There's plenty of ways for you not to use toilet paper. The first way is you building a bidet at your house. If you don't know what bidet is, this is a bidet, okay? The second option is installing a Japanese toilet in your washroom, which is that thing that just, like, you poop and you're done and then just splashes water in your butt. So you don't need to use as much toilet paper. That's our room here in Tokyo. And then the washroom, which has the nice thing to wash your butt. Cool, right? Yeah. Oh, and the third option is we're using a cloth, right? So take the cloth, wipe your butt, and then wash and reuse it again. But since I don't do any of those options because I am not... That crazy yet, but when I build my house, I will install the bidet probably anyways. But I don't do any of these options, so let's bring to reality here, okay, Vanessa? Let's bring this to reality, something that everybody will do. Okay, so let's go to the grocery store. So, when you're a grocery store, you're like in the aisle, and there's so many brands, so many options, and you're just like, Vanessa, what do I do now as I come down? I wait to start checking the label. <laughs> Yes, the label seems to tell you everything you want to know. So, there's three kinds of labels that I found around when I went and started taking pictures of the brands and so on and so forth. And so let's go here for the third option, which is the option you should just like, I don't want it and ignore it because the label says nothing. The label doesn't state anything where the toilet paper is coming from. So, you don't want to finance those brands. Because those, brand, those brands might be the ones that are chopping down those builds, those 200-year-old trees. And you don't want that, right? So, you just ignore it. Don't buy it. Don't finance it. Don't support it. Number two is the option of toilet paper that's coming from sustainable forests. I didn't research too much about those logos, so I don't know which ones are legit and which ones you should aim for it and support. I don't know about it, so I don't want to get much into there. So, if I only had two options, the options of nothing said on the label or, or the option of sustainable forestry, I will go for it. But my chosen one, which is the option number one, is paper from coming from recycled paper. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. That's the one you should go for it, okay, guys? Because it came from recycled paper, so... You just support the whole thing, right? You just like applause to people that recycle their paper so their paper can be turned into toilet paper and then you can reuse this paper. So go, recyclers! People that recycle are the best! Woo! And if you don't recycle what? Well, it's never too late. I'll be here for you. I'll be here. Okay, anyways. And Ed, to answer your question about toilet paper being recyclable or being from raw materials, any, neither of those options will harm your pump out system, whatever, but it would be awesome if you could use recycled toilet paper because there's less additives there, right? Since it's coming from a recycled material, recycled paper, this paper was already treated in prior, so it's not treated again in order to produce recycled toilet paper, so would decrease the amount of contamination in the water. 
So if you don't know what I'm talking about, like what the hell is the series about? Well, this video over here, please click it over here. It's the video you should refer for choosing a product because these are the four steps that you need to look for before buying a product. And I'm just gonna review them pretty quick just to aim them to toilet paper. I found the toilet paper that I wanna purchase. So the, the thing I see, first things like recycled toilet paper. Okay, we chose that already. So there's many, many brands of recycled toilet paper. So I'm gonna choose the brand that has less packaging because packaging is waste. When you're done with packaging, you're gonna throw it away. So make sure that it has the least amount of packaging and the packaging is recyclable because if the package is not recyclable, then you're gonna produce garbage out of it. And we're on the recyclable or we want nothing, okay? So there you go. Uh, if it's local, go for, for brands that are local and the diversion rate, which is pretty awesome for toilet paper. They have 100% of the diversion rate because you wipe it, you throw it in the toilet, flush it, and there you go. That's what you should do, okay? Because if you're throwing poopy and pee paper in the garbage, you're crazy nuts because first of all, your washroom will smell bad, second of all, it's gross, and third of all, we'll get to the landfill and we'll produce methane, and we don't want that. No, no, we don't want that. Well, one more thing. Please don't be shy, comment here on Facebook or whatever, just get a hold of me. And if you wanna talk about other, other products, like how can I eat more sustainable? Or how can I, we already talked about how can I poop more sustainable? <laughs> but actually the poop, I don't know, it's up to you. If you're wondering about one product or the other, just bring, it, bring those ideas to me and I'll be happy to answer, okay? So don't forget to ask me questions. Uh, all right, so have a good day, have a good night, don't be a waster, and that's all for today. Recycle toilet paper. Woo, woo. Okay, bye. Oh my God, I'm finally done with this video.